in quantum physics, scientists study things that are too small to see with our eyes, like atoms and particles. They have found that there might be more to the universe than what we can see and experience in our daily lives, such as dimensions of existence, which are different levels or layers of reality. We know that there are three dimensions of space, like height, width, length, and one dimension of time, like seconds, minutes, and hours. But scientists discover that might be more dimensions than we can't see or experience directly. Dimensions of existence are not places that you can go to like a park or a store. It's more like an idea or a way of thinking. Just like we can measure how tall or wide something is in the dimension of existence, it helps us understand things that we can see or touch, like time or feelings. So it's like a way of looking beyond what's right in front of us to understand it better, to understand more about the world around us. So let's talk about the first dimension. The first dimension is a straight line. It only has one dimension of length. So it's like drawing a dot and then moving it in a straight line. It has no width, no height. So it's like a piece of paper with only one direction to move. The second dimension it's like a flat surface. It has two dimensions of length and width. So it's like taking that dot from the first dimension and moving it side to side, up and down, to create a shape like a square or a circle. But it still has no height. So it's like looking at a picture on a piece of paper. These two dimensions are easy for us to imagine and draw on the paper, but they are not the same as the world we live in, which has three dimensions of length, width, and height. Get it? So, the third dimension allows us to see objects in space that have length, width, and height, like a box or a tree. It also allows us to move in all directions, which you can't do in the first or second dimension. In the third dimension, we experience duality. Things are in pairs, like light and darkness, good and bad, joy and despair. It's like there are two opposite sides to everything because we can experience both good and bad things. We can choose how we act in response. We can choose to do good things and act like saints or we can choose to do bad things and act like demons. The only real choice we have is either to act out of love or fear. So these other dimensions are like other ways the universe can exist that we don't normally notice. So pay attention to this. Scientists use math and physics study to understand dimensions and they believe that these dimensions could help explain some of the mysteries of the universe like dark matter and dark energy. The fourth dimension is an emotion-based concept that relates to different emotions like happiness or sadness, love or fear. When we experience the fourth dimension of existence, we start to become more aware that life is like a dream 
and that the duality of light and darkness, good and bad, is just an illusion. This means that we start to see life from a different perspective and we become more connected to our emotions and the emotions of others. So the fourth dimension is like a bridge between different emotions and perspectives. When we experience this dimension, we see the world in a deeper and more meaningful way as we connect with others and with ourselves with more compassion. Now, the fifth dimension is thought to be a place beyond time and space where our physical bodies transform into a light body, a body of energy that's not bound by the limitations of our physical reality. This means that we are able to connect with higher realms of consciousness and we become more aware of our multidimensional nature. When we tap into 5D, this dimension, we begin to recognize that we are more than just our physical bodies and that we are part of a larger cosmic consciousness. We start to see the world in a new way and we become more connected to ourselves, to others and the universe as a whole. This shift is said to be happening on a global level right now and is thought to be part of a larger spiritual evolution that is taking place across the entire universe. While it can be hard to understand or imagine the idea of the fifth dimension, it represents a new level of consciousness and understanding that's available to all of us if we are open to it. So scientists are embracing this idea that there are numerous dimensions beyond the fifth and that other dimensions might be places where beings or energies exist that we can see or touch in our physical reality. So to sum this all up, we are multidimensional beings. There are three dimensional in human form, fourth dimension in the level of the ego, and the fifth dimension as spiritual being. The fifth dimension is accessible to all of us through visualization, any intention and a higher levels of consciousness the feeling of separation disappears and everything becomes one hence the universal law of one the awareness of the fifth dimension and higher brings us to different levels of understanding like climbing a ladder each level is higher than the one before. And when you reach the top, you feel like everything is connected and part of the same thing. This is like feeling a strong sense of unity and oneness with the world around us. When you access the fifth dimension, you embody a higher level of consciousness and awareness that allows you to see beyond limitations of your current reality. You can connect with the infinity intelligence and potential of the universe and become aware of the power of your thoughts and you know that your beliefs shape your experience. It's like tuning into a different channel on the radio and when we do that we can hear a different kind of music that we couldn't hear before it's like tapping into your god mind and assessing your inner wisdom 
and guidance, becoming more intentional about your thoughts and your beliefs and using this wisdom to create the life you want. This is about learning to trust yourself and the universe, to bring your desires into this reality and to take inspired action toward your goals. This concept, it's not a concept, it's dimensions of being, it's power and force. You can relate that now, the idea of dimensions to the idea of power versus force. The 3D reality is based on materialism, survival, and competition. In the 3D reality, people tend to use force to get what they want because they think they are limited, that there is a limited amount of resources and opportunities, and they need to fight for them. But when we get to 5D reality, that's power. It's where you find spirituality and unity and God cooperation. So in the 5D, people tend to use their personal power to create what they want because they believe in the abundance of the universe, the abundance of resources and opportunities. And they know they can create them easily using power. So according to this view, by choosing power instead of force, we can raise our consciousness and move from 3D reality to 5D reality where we can experience more love, joy, and peace. When you recognize that you are connected and that you can create your reality and you can create a better world to everyone, you want to use power because it's easy, not force, because it's hard. Power is 5G and beyond. Force is 3G, duality. When we face challenges in life, like problems with money, health, relationships, we often try to solve them by using force. This means we might use a lot of thinking and external resources to get what we want. But using force can be exhausting and it can create more stress and more tension in our lives. Here's some example of using force, okay? Let's say you have a friend with a different opinion than you do on a particular topic. And you really want to convince your friend that your perspective is right you might start a conversation with them, but instead of truly listening to their point of view and engaging in a respectful dialogue, you approach the conversation like a game that you want to win. You interrupt them, you dismiss their arguments, or even use personal attacks to try to prove your point. You're so focused on winning the conversation and proving that you are right, that you are not really listening to what your friend is saying or considering their perspective. Does it resonate? In this situation, you are using force. This is 3D to try to win the argument. You are not considering your friend's feelings or thoughts. And you are not truly engaging in a dialogue to find common ground with this friend. You might feel like you've won the conversation, but you haven't really achieved anything meaningful. It's like a fight, a verbal fight. Now, let's use this example about power. Let's say you were in a conflict with a friend or a family member, and instead of approaching the situation with anger or frustration, you use your imagination to visualize a positive outcome. You imagine a peaceful resolution to this conflict where you both feel heard and respected and mutually benefit, benefited from the solution that you both want. 
by visualizing this positive outcome, you tap in 5D and you can begin to shift your mindset from one of anger and frustration to one of hope and positivity. This can help you approach the situation with a more open and empathetic mindset and allow you to communicate more effectively and respectfully with this person. You can use your imagination to come up with a creative solution for this conflict. And instead of replying on the same old approach that you, has never worked in the past, you can imagine a new innovative way to solve this problem. This may involve some brainstorming new ideas, considering different perspectives, thinking outside the box to find a solution that works for everyone involved. Using power instead of using force can be a powerful tool for finding creative and peaceful solutions to difficult situations in life. By tapping into your inner God mind, you can find new and innovative ways to resolve conflicts and improve relationships. This is power. The more you are open for this, the more you're gonna have intuition to act when you need to act. Force is a long time and power is quick and fast. So, do the best you can now that you know this and recognize that interconnectedness with things in the universe. When you think this way, it's like thinking like God, your God mind. You choose to shift your approach, to tap into your inner power, which is God power. And this can lead you to great success, peace, fulfillment, not only for you, but for everyone. Remember the law of one? There you go. Write in the comments what you think about this.